you guys be patient. Uh, the Passage team is uh, looking at the link. We're going to try and get it up and running. As soon as it's ready, Superman's going to post it and tell you guys. So uh, in the meantime, what I really wanted to do is go over the MetaWawa uh, DAO, uh, the utilities, what the collection is all about. We're going to record this since the last recording didn't go through. And we're going to post it on YouTube and Twitter so that anybody that's minting after today or after the AMA will all be able to listen to uh, what everything is uh, all about about MetaWawa. So <clears throat> I'm going to start right away with the MetaWawa DAO, guys. So one of the main highlights of the MetaWawa NFT collection is the MetaWawa DAO. And uh, it was established back in April 2022. So if you guys go inside of the Discord, we have a section uh, called DAO Proposals and DAO Announcements. So as you can see, the first one was uh, sometime last year. And one of the first votes that we did was to establish a DAO for the NFT collection itself. So um, once the DAO was established, we actually had a second proposal to then establish a validator on the passage and on the, the Wawa chain. So there's one important note, guys, for this mint. Um, the mint is going to be on the 13th of February on the passage marketplace. The mint is on Atom. And uh, the DAO will convert the Atom into Passage and into Wawa. So we're going to convert the Atom from the Mint for the DAO 50% into Passage and 50% into Wawa. It's important, though, to note that the buyback of the Atom into Passage and Wawa will only be done once the Passage token goes live and uh, we complete the sale of the entire collection. So the entire collection is 10,000 pieces. Today is the first batch. And uh, to, uh, this first batch is specifically for the beta testing. And uh, a bunch of incentives that Superman will go over uh, a bit later. So now back to the DAO. So you guys, uh, these last uh, couple of weeks, we've been voting on uh, what the DAO will have control over. So one of the aspects of the DAO is uh, marketing and communication. So the percentage that we allocate there, the funds are going to be staked on our validator. And uh, with the rewards that we generate uh, monthly, we'll be able to, to vote as a DAO what we do with these funds. So. Well, an example of what we could do would be like to run an ad on uh, YouTube or, or on Twitter or on some websites so that we can get the collection out there so that everybody can know about uh, what's going on with uh, Wowaverse and the Chihuahua chain. Another aspect of the, the DAO is the, the metaverse improvements. So that section there of the DAO is the same principle. We're going to stake the funds and with the staking rewards that we get uh, monthly. Uh, we'll be able to uh, <clears throat> to do improvements and vote on stuff that we would like added to the Wowiverse. So um, let's say you guys want to add some items in the item shop or uh, a new game. Well, we can ask Passage for a quote. Uh, they'll give us the amount that it would cost to implement it inside of the Wowiverse. And as a community, we'll vote uh, if we do it or not, depending on the, the price that it costs to do it. So that's a very cool feature I find for, for the MetaWawa DAO. And I don't think there's... Uh, a lot of collections that do stuff like this, that they give control over uh, the future of the project to, to the holders. Um, also included in the DAO is the private lottery and uh, the passage airdrop allocation. So uh, we got 10% for the private lottery. So this is going to be a bit like the other uh, collections that we have where we have the monthly lottery. So we're going to hold it once, uh, once a month. And one winner is going to win uh, the lottery once it goes live. For uh, the Passage Airdrop, as you can see, this collection here today has 10% of the NFTs that will have a special property once you mint it, and it's going to be uh, a Passage Airdrop as a trait. And uh, those 10%, well, they'll give you the allocation for uh, the Passage Airdrop. Uh, there's also a section in the MetaWawa DAO, which is uh, what we're going to be sending to the, the Wawa community wallet. And uh, the final part of the, the MetaWawa DAO is the uh, integration and development and completion of the Wowiverse. So Lex was here uh, last week uh, discussing to us what they're going to be doing with those funds. And, and basically what he had said is that the majority of the funds or the entirety of the funds will be given to the team that's working on the Wowiverse. And 100% of those funds will be allocated to, to complete it, to finish it, and monitor and develop it. Um, so with that said, the... Um, Superman, did you have any uh, any info about the, the minting link? All right, so uh, I'm speaking with Ryan from Passage. So apparently uh, there's a little issue. They identified the issue. They're working on it uh, now. So uh, mm -hmm. we're just going to keep our eyes. Uh, we have a group with them on Telegram. They're communicating with us as we speak. 
So we're just going to wait uh, on an update for now. We'll just wait uh, until they give us uh, some news. But uh, they identified the, uh, the problem. Uh, hopefully, they'll manage to fix it uh, really quick. All right. And um, maybe you could tell uh, the group here, because we're quite a bit, so uh, uh, about the utilities of the collection and uh, and the rest of the stuff that people need to know for the mint. So the incentives. And uh, I just spoke about the Metawawa DAO. I'll keep a look on the on the chat with uh, Ryan and all that while you talk about it. All right, guys. So uh, the big question is, why should we mint the Metawawa NFT? So for starters, uh, the Wawa verse is going to be gated by ownership of a Metawawa NFT. So basically, without the NFT, you won't have access to the Wawa verse. So now, once you're inside the Wawa verse, what could we do? So the first thing is, there's the Chihuahua overworld. So this is basically where all of us are going to be roaming around as little chihuahuas. That's where we're going to be able to chat amongst ourselves and uh, interact with our environments. It's going to be a cool little place. That's like the main lobby where we're all going to be uh, roaming around. Uh, another thing we'll be able to do is to customize our chihuahua avatars in the item shop inside the Wawavers. Now, what's important to note here is that the traits of your NFT will not reflect your chihuahua avatar. We're all going to have the same Chihuahua inside the Wawaverse. And what's gonna make you stand out is how you decide to customize it through the item shop. Uh, in the item shop, you're gonna have uh, uh, some custom items like uh, hats, shoes, collars. You could change the color of your Wawa. And uh, all these will be able to be purchased using the Wawa coin inside the item shop. Uh, another little fun thing we'll be able to do is to play uh, some mini games. So uh, at launch, they'll have three mini games to start off. The first one is Tai Chihuahua. So this is going to be a 1v1 combat style game. Then you're going to have uh, Wawa Mania. So Wawa Mania is a sort of a Pac-Man style game where you're going to collect bones. You're going to try to escape uh, big cats and you're going to collect some bonuses. And the final game is going to be the Wawa Racing. This is a one to four player endless runner. You're going to have to jump over obstacles and be the last Wawa standing. Uh, another thing you'll be able to do is you'll have access, as a Meta Wawa holder, you'll have access to the Passage Community Hub. So this is a place where everybody from every community will be able to go hang out. Uh, what they're trying to do here is they're going to have a, a bunch of mini games for us to play, a lot of uh, first person shooter type games. Uh, also, what they're trying to do, they're trying to build uh, an NFT gallery in there an auditorium where people will be able to do uh, stages and panels for educational content. And they're also gonna have a, a competitive gaming area, which is gonna be a, a lot of fun. I don't know if uh, Gigi, you could share maybe uh, the tweets from Passage that shows a bit the, the community hub. Yeah, I just posted. So guys, if you guys have any questions whatsoever, let's try and put the questions in the AMA questions uh, channel. I also posted the community hub from Passage there, and I'll be posting uh, all the tweets with uh, the what Passage did, uh, showing the games and uh, the gameplay and all that. So I'll be posting all of that in uh, AMA questions. So uh, leave your questions there because on the general, it's a bit crazy right now, so it's going to be hard to follow. And obviously, if you guys can tag me, uh, even better. All right, and uh, obviously there's the there's the DAO, which is a pretty cool feature. Uh, I think we're one of the first ones to implement a DAO inside a metaverse. So you guys are basically, you guys are going to shape the future of this game, which is a really cool feature. Uh, on top of all these features, we're also going to have extra mint, mint incentives for the minters. So uh, there's going to be 10% of the collection. So three, 333 MetaWawas are going to become beta testers uh, via exclusive metadata. So these are going to be the lucky holders. I'll be the first one to test all the dynamics of the game and to provide the feedback before the official public launch of the game. There's also going to be 10%, so 333 MetaWawas. They're going to receive an airdrop of a Wawa Punk. So this is a, a cool collection that we do here at AAA. We already launched the first batch. This will be the second batch we'll be launching. So you guys, uh, you guys are going to get an airdrop of that. And this is going to be offered by the Chihuahua chain. Uh, there's also the last incentive is going to be another 10%. So 333 MetaWawas are going to receive... 20% of the allocated amount for the passage airdrop. And this airdrop is going to be done by us, the AAA team. So the 20% is 20% basically of the 12.5% uh, 
that's allocated to the passage airdrop. So honestly, guys, uh, these NFTs, they're, they're packed with utility. I uh, just can't wait till, uh, Gigi, do we have any updates on, uh, on the minting link? We'll let you know. Um, he's on a call right now. He'll let us know shortly. Uh, he's trying to solve the issue. So we're going to know shortly, guys. Uh, it's growing pains with these new marketplaces. So uh, let's give us a good, let's give them a bit of time and uh, we're going to get there, guys. Um, a couple of things, uh, Superman, maybe we could talk about with the whole wind and uh, the user interface on Passage, which is showing your Juno balance instead of your Atom balance. So, guys, once you transfer your Atom from uh, the Windex, um, directly to your Juno blockchain, go check on MintScan directly to see if the Atom uh, made it there and if they're actually there. Because when you click on the passage link and you click on your profile, uh, it, it for some reason, it gives you your Juno balance as an Atom balance. So uh, it's still going to work because they did the, the, the Strange Clan Mint in December. So it worked out fine. So it should be okay for us as well. But um, yeah, check on MintScan and... Uh, or on your Kepler extension directly, you could switch to Juno blockchain. And if okay, you scroll GD, down, I have to stop um, you. The guys, the mint lake is live, it's fixed. You guys should be able to mint. All right, let's go, guys. That was working for me. Everything up now. It's working, guys. Good stuff. Let's go, guys. Let's get this thing minted out. Oh, are people minting? Got mine. Yeah, look, people are showing. Screwface got his. Bear Town Giant. All right, time to mint, guys. Superman, right. maybe uh, can you repost the mint link? Anyways, uh, Superman, can you post the yeah. link somewhere? I'll do it right away. Post it in the uh, post it in the announcement. Maybe you could put some music while people start minting. Yeah, absolutely. Just give me a sec, and I'll I'll close the recording. I think it's uh, this has been recorded. The information about the collection was given, so I'll stop the recording, and we'll just have a regular party with music and uh, mint with right, you guys. Right. So guys, while you guys are minting, I'm just going to put a bit of music. Uh, after every song, we'll come back. We'll uh, take the questions. We'll just give an update on how the minting is going. We're going to put a few a few songs uh, throughout the AMA. It's just going to be a little fun. So if you guys want to grab uh, some drinks, uh, maybe coffee if it's in the morning, and uh, we're just going to have a good time, guys. Or some uh, vodka uh, in the morning. <laughs> All right, I'm stopping the recording, uh, Superman.